Then you have your 6'4 guy. All right, your basketball player that decided to play football his freshman year. He's now going to, to Clemson, and he can jump out of the gym. Okay? You don't always want that guy to make diving catches on fade balls. Those are the guys that you want to put nice high and outside, let them pivot back, and let them box out the defender and go make a play 25 yards downfield and maybe break the tackle and go. Okay, so unless he's wide open or just beats the guy off the ball, let him make a play. If he's 6'4 and the defender's 5'10 or 5'11 or 5'8 or 5'9 or even 6'1, he's got a huge advantage. There's nothing more frustrating than when you see a 6'4 receiver or let's get away from 6'4, just a guy that's a physical mismatch height-wise and we overthrow him. Nothing more. He's uncoverable. He should not be coverable because you put the ball up, let him pivot, let him go up and get it. And I should mention there's a third type of receiver, and that's that 6'4 guy that also runs a 4'4", and do whatever you want with him. Just throw it up. Okay. So, here it is. Nice high and outside, and we catch the football. Let's run it. Bravo 15. Crossing's up. Let's take a look with the defense. 